Warning, the following could be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Joseph Delamar, owner of the Delamar Mines, share the story of our prosperous gold mining operation and the history of Delamar, Nevada. In the 1890s, gold was discovered in our rugged hills, and the Delamar Mines became the heartbeat of our community. Miners worked tirelessly, transforming this barren land into a thriving town. Delamar prospered, attracting pioneers and businesses. Challenges tested us, but we persevered. Our mines yielded abundant riches, making Delamar renowned worldwide. Today we stand proud, a testament to the American spirit and our shared history. Let us celebrate the legacy of Delamar forever shining bright. G'day YouTube, this is Mark from the Black Collar Project and I am at the Delamar Mine in Nevada. Two prospectors discovered gold here back in 1889. Mining operations, they started shortly after. A man named Joseph Delamar from New York, he saw great opportunity to pull gold out of these hills and they did, they pulled about $15 million between 1895 and 1905. The reason why this place is so haunted, it's actually nicknamed the Widowmaker because at one point there were 400 widowed wives. Now why? They had to get the gold from the quartz and they had to crush quartz to, to extract it, right? And in that process it would release a dust called silica dust. That was deadly to breathe in. Now the miners would get silicosis. Hundreds of miners died in this town, in this mine we're about to go in. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for further updates. Let's see what we can find. Rock and roll. Guys, we are deep down into a mine. Uh, we've had to bend down on our knees to get through a tight little portal. Uh, this is the Delamar mine. So we've come into the middle of the, uh, the Nevada desert to uh, take you to one of the most haunted mines in Nevada, right? With the most death, the town of Delamar. Quite a big mine. That's not a sign. That's not a good sign right there. Someone shit. <laughs> but uh, why'd someone do a poo right there? It stinks. Yeah. So basically, they're breathing in that, and they died from it. And we're talking about over 400 widow widows. Oh yeah, so, hundreds. Over 400 Hundred, men have hundreds were left dead. Breathing the silica. Silica dust, yep. That's the quartz, the crushing of the quartz. Mm -hmm. So, back in the days when the miners were working here, um, they were crushing the quartz, and in the process of getting the gold out, this toxic dust would fill the air and they would breathe it in. What was it called? Uh, silicosis? Silicosis. Yeah. Silicosis was the, they get the dust in the lungs and it's really hard to breathe down here by the way it's very dusty but uh, they were breathing this stuff in and it was killing them hence the reason why the town's called Widowmaker because of all the widows that were left here over 400 women at one time were widows and it's quite large in here Webb yeah you can easily walk through here you can drive a car you can, in here you can, you can see you can see there's like 10 feet footprints here what'd you say Many footprints. Yeah, people do come down in here. This is one of the biggest mines in Nevada. It is multiple levels. There's a piece of wood right here that probably have a track, maybe. It's multiple levels, Webb. That's one thing we will not be doing. We're not going to be exploring. We won't be so, doing anything crazy. Because we, we're not experts at this. So, oh wow. Yeah, look at that. That is shady down there. I like how thin it is. Yeah. I mean, you can probably still walk through, but... And then there's the main thoroughfare through here. So we're going to just stick to the big path. Yeah, like I said, we're not those sort of crazy dudes that go on, like, um, you know, abseil down cliffs and... Yeah, we don't have... Climb on the ladders up in crazy parts of the mine. Have to have all the uh, proper equipment for that. I did a mine last year in the Fredrickson Mine, and that place had no ventilation and I almost passed out on the way out, so. Actually, I'll put a link up the top so you can have a look at that video. App called the Necrometer, which is just a basically a version of the uh, Spirit Talker. And uh, we've come into another fork of the road, so I'm gonna let this run. And uh, we'll probably just ask questions as we walk around. So we'll keep the, uh, the video moving for you guys. As you know, guys, we don't like to sit in spots for too long, but, uh, if you want to check it out, it's called the Necrometer 
Which way do you want to go? Airflow stops going that way. Does it? So we don't know what that is. But we got an echo, so we're... Uh, Just leave that right. necker. Need so, it running. Being that we have an echo... Where's it's going to be the, that, uh, the light for us? So. Plus, maybe we're coming near some kind of no, thing. This is crazy. Opening. Look at that, it just goes straight. So out. Right so that's a good thing. They have actually put this on on the walls. What were these used for, do you think? These hooks? Uh, could have been for airlines, uh, electrical pass, you know, bringing the electrical through. Right. Uh, many reasons. So as we go further into the mine, obviously. It's a little bit shady in here. Um, we do put ourselves in the harm's way. Like we don't do the stuff like you see, like the crazy people, you know, trying to scale down into mines and stuff. Back in its heyday, Webb, 18, the late 1800s, it was the biggest gold mine in Nevada. And it actually produced $15 million of gold. Now these literally go for miles, you know, you could be literally going to hell. You can go into the depths of hell. What do you think the temperature is like down here compared to outside? Uh, right now, the way how it feels on your fingers, mm -hmm. it's probably like 60, 65 degrees mm -hmm. here. So it is like probably about 30 degrees, maybe even 40 degrees cooler than outside. Outside is about 100 and something degrees. It was 110 in Vegas, 106 degrees. So when we walked in here, it was like you walked into an air conditioning house or something, you could just feel it was such a great feeling. We've had to stop just briefly because it, it sounded like um, um, like a pssst, pssst, like Yeah, a that's pssst, what it was like. like I was trying to think if it was a hissing noise. But it came from behind me. 2020s. 2020s, it yeah. is. So we'll carry on going down there. I think that's yeah. the best way. So Webb's, yeah. Webb's in charge today. He's actually moving away. <laughs> no, he's in charge. He's more in shape Being than me. This is, this is the stuff that used to get me in trouble back east. <laughs> and I think we're coming to... Yeah, we're coming to that one spot. Probably. <gasps> Probably. Probably, really. Probably. I tell you what, man. It feels with that breeze coming from behind me, it feels like someone's rushing up on me. Now, every time I walk a little bit, you can, you can kind of feel like there's like a, a, a rush of air and it feels like someone's coming up on me, rushing up, but it's just a breeze. It's nothing paranormal. Imagine if your flashlight died. If your flashlight died, flashlight's off, uh, that's just the light. and that's, that's it. What it look like. That's what you look like. You would lose the plot pretty quick. You can imagine back in the days, like they had to work in here every day. They had to come down here. You know, they go all the way down into the depths of the Delamar mines, and they had the the rock. It was all, and they crushed the quartz to get the gold out. So they were lugging these well. These train tracks were hauling all solid rocks to the, to the uh, entrance of the mine. They would take it down to the mill. So the same path that we're walking, these miners would do every day. And there would be a mine cart that would come through here. So they would have that and it would take all the ore to the entrance of the mine. Pretty hardcore work. And they were busting their bores for like pennies, you know, a couple bucks a day and they lost their lives doing this sort of stuff. What's in here? Oh, there's another. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Another <laughs> point. I mean, how far does that go? See, this is the sort of That's stuff. When it gets a little yeah, this is the sort of stuff we won't, won't be doing. Experiences. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, right. you kind of need experiences to go down there. You need to be experienced. <laughs> what was that? That was real. You heard that ding ding? Yeah. Like a tin can? Yeah. Coming from down there. It looks like it changes up a little bit down there. I see a lot of... Oh wow, look at this part. We carried on a little bit further down and we're starting to come into a section here where... There's actually railing There's some right support beams. Towards that direction. Some old railing and uh... Yeah. See the well, railing now. I can actually right see that now guys. And uh... uh yeah, what happened there? Wood. See, that's, that's holding sickness. sickness. That's what it was. There was a lot of sickness. You can see there's a bit of a collapse here. Oh, wow. Wow, this is cool in here. This is unbelievable. This the aesthetics are unbelievable. This keeps going that way. Yeah, look at that. Damn. 
camera doesn't do it justice. This part of the mine here, it goes three ways. There's tracks that go that way. It goes straight here. 1930s. <gasps> 1930s. 1929. 1929. 1929 was the last, because they, they, they did try to revive this mine in 1929, but it failed. And that was the last sort of date in which they kind of said, hey, we've had enough here, carry on. These logs that are here, they would have been like uh, put there from back in the days. But I'll tell you what, that there, that is one hell of a mine shaft. And I'm getting voices as well. Any miners down here? Tommy knockers? We come here in peace. We don't wish you any harm. If there's any sort of problems with, you know, the stability of the mine, you're welcome to let us know by throwing a rock or making, you know, knocking the wall or something like that. So Webb's just gone down um, that other that other shaft because it does break into three ways. We do not. One way is uh, caved in. The other way has a uh, train track that's still intact from back in 1890s. You got to remember that this was. This was before Goldfield, Nevada. This was 1889. It was actually discovered by two prospectors in the area. And then... Balls. I had a whisper. It, it's, it's a wide open little spot. I got like a whisper. Teresa. <sighs> what? Huh? Teresa. Were you one of the widows? One of the wives that lost their husband? I'm getting an airy feeling, feeling down here, eh? You think that, like, how many people... Oh, is this a shoot? Yeah. Drop shot. Oh, it is too. Look, guys. There's this one and there's another one down That's there. a shoot. Two, uh, multiple. See there? Wow. That was... That's early 1900s right there, guys. You think this place was booming back in 1905, Webb? Well, you gotta see this. Well, okay. But Webb's gonna take us down here. So... Starts to get a little funky, so that I have to watch my my footing around here. This is what I'm finding surprising. You can see here it says out. So it goes four ways. We got some in there. Here, so that obviously means Down there, and there's the tracks. What's in here? Hey, look, a little clearance. Yeah, you can have. This looks like. See, someone did it right here. Sweet. JW. There's different names, I think. JW. Who the hell is JW? Oh, holy crap. Yeah, look at this. Wow. That goes all the way up. You Arr. can see the, the insulators for the power. Those white pers uh, porcelain pieces. Yeah. Holy shit. And then this is all that all came down here into the mine carts. Wow, this is impressive. So this is a multiple story mine. We have to be careful the further we go into this mine because, you know, we got to figure out how to get back out. But we are blessed that it has got spray paint on the on the on the sides that say out. But whew, it's a bit of a journey trying to get through all this and have to navigate through all these rocks with the camera. It's a big camera, but uh, this is impressive and this goes for miles, multiple levels. So let's keep going. It said gassed. I switched over to the spirit talker. It said gassed. You can see right here, there's Taylor stairs Olympics. going up. You think people climb up there? Someone did. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Nah, see, that's where I'm, I won't be doing that sort of stuff. You have to go to the uh, hardcore mine exploration channels for that, unfortunately. Yeah. This is just uh, paranormal and exploration to a certain extent. It doesn't help when you don't have any sort of GoPro strap mount or head mount or anything like that where you yeah, can you use know. your hands, you know. It's starting to get a little bit narrower through here as well. That says 90. That's the distance to somewhere. I mean, they said that when they put the number on there, it's the distance to like in feet. That's a cave in right there where Web is. You can see what it does. You know, you don't want to be trapped under that. This is where that. Oh, this is really Another sketchy around here. Meeting. Meeting. What was that? That was a knock. How do you get a knock? Tommy knocker. <laughs> okay. So that's not the right way out, right? That's a different way. That's the other route. So you could easily take that way. You went the other way? Yep. 
can't go back. Oh, so we can go back that way? Yeah, you go that way. Oh, it does say out on the wall there. But this is unbelievable. Look at all this. This is just holding up all these rocks. I'm here in Knox Webb. This is a pretty famous mine. And back in the days, like I said, back in the days, this was the, the primary uh, economy for Southern Nevada. Actually, it was the biggest gold mine. It was the biggest producer of gold in Nevada. But yeah, coming through here, this is crazy. I love this. Like I said, once again, the aesthetics are unbelievable. You know, these sort of mines, to have these pillars up like this. And the fact that you could actually just walk. You could just walk, you know, there's a lot of room. There are parts that are unstable. As we go further and further into this thing, it's uh, it's a bit of a workout, guys. But uh, as we go further and further in, you can see that there's more and more cave-ins. It really is so quiet down here. But uh, all I've got running is the spirit talker, so I don't want to get too technical. I'd rather show you what's going on down here. Um, there's just so much to see, and it just goes on and on. So I've got to watch my feet, so I'll turn the camera back on when I get further down. You're gonna to have to check this out because this is like multiple levels right here. And uh, I have seen on YouTube people climbing up here. So I'm gonna show you what's up here. Well, this area right here, it's gotta be two stories. Look at that. Wait, there's just a room. There's just a room. So right this is there. rooms on, on top of rooms. Look at that rock just sitting up there balancing. Yeah, right. Holy shit. This, now, is, this is literally just oh, a room. Oh, wow, there's rocks up there. Like if. They would fall and land on my head, it would be game over. Holy fuck. This is impressive, man. So that's the video. <gasps> what? Footsteps again. I heard, when you said you heard the footsteps, I just heard one, it stopped. Are we making too much noise? You probably get a lot of people come through here, right? They're very interested. Did anybody die? I'm sure lots of people died down here. So your mind starts to play tricks on you a little bit because, you know, you start to hear whispers, and you start to hear footsteps and stuff like that. And uh, it's like further we go into this mine, it just gets shady as hell. I know I keep saying that, but it's like you're vulnerable because you could run that way and, you know, you'd be running the wrong way and then you get disorientated and you, you, you can't get your way out. Yeah, we're getting to a part of the mine where we might not be able to go any further. Getting a little sketchy here. Let's see. As we go further in. That's just a dugout. Nah, it gets pretty tight in there, hey? Yeah, that's just another another spot that you have to squeeze around. Yeah. But look at this stone. We're not nasty. <gasps> well, I don't expect you to be. Yeah, we don't expect anything to be nasty, to be honest. There's no reason why anything should be malevolent down here. I mean, that will... Though in saying that, the Tommy Knockers, if you disrespect them, which Tommy Knockers are just deceased miners, though they're also folklore. It's open down there, you gotta get through it. It is folklore in uh, some parts of the world. Hello? You wanna throw a rock? I bring you peace as well. I don't mean any harm. Where are my ashes? <gasps> I don't know, but there's a cemetery nearby and it's only got a few people buried in them. But, um, you know, with all these people that passed away in here, well, in this town of Delamar because of the, the silica dust, um, there wasn't a lot of people buried in the cemetery, which I thought was unusual. So they must be in the near, nearby town of Caliente and it's not far from Caliente and Pioch. And there's a train station there. Um, quite a nice train station. In fact, I'll put some pictures up for you. I would love to be able to get in there and I investigate. I shouldn't be dead. He, it said I shouldn't be dead. People come here and they probably don't want to carry on any further. It gets probably a little don't bit go any shady. further down there. It's where it gets shady. But Like in terms of like having to bend it's down. Open. It's like this. Yeah. It's just a cave in right there. We so. were going to go down there. But it's too low clearance and I just we got backpacks on and expensive camera this is a very expensive camera i don't want to damage it so if i had a gopro and i had it strapped and i would be able to do it for you but uh, unfortunately we'll keep on going a different way and we'll show you a different part of the mine all right so thanks for sticking around we'll carry on all right well i'll lead the way this time just follow the tracks and then the spirit talker just said uh stink and yeah 
It literally. <laughs> and it stinks out like. Out of nowhere, it smells like some. And then he, oh, this part's even crazier. Wow. Watch your head up on the bolts. Yeah. But uh, see, look, there's all these little nooks and here. crannies, man. So literally, if you were like into exploration and doing hardcore mine stuff, you will come here and have a field day. Yeah. You would. You'd be in there crawling around and I mean there's another little cave in. It makes you wonder like this piece of paper right here. Yeah. Is it something could have been something from back then. Oh you wouldn't know. It's completely these faded. papers and shit. And that's another thing, looking around these mines, you know, to find old relics. You know, from back in the days. Look at that. What? This is where they would put the candles out. Really? I was watching someone demonstrate, uh, talk about this. These burn marks, yeah. they would oh, put really? their candles out going in here. Interesting. This is a bit of a cardio workout, eh? It's a cardio workout, but it's great because it's nice and cool. It's good for the buns. Okay, so this is on the other side of the that where we went before, remember? Yeah, it is the other side. The chute and the... Scary. Is it scary? I don't think it's scary. I don't know about you. Yeah, I don't think it's scary. Nothing's scary. This is more yeah. like wow factor. It is a wow factor. Let's go cross over this dirt. Wow. Get a loose Amazing rock here. Amazing how this is still dumping. This is actually still dumping only the rock from above. That's what this pile is. Only the rock from above. That's what this pile is. Uh, we walked on the other side of this chute. Look These at this. Two chutes. What? Paul and what? More lights. More, More lights. Light, yeah. 1980. See what I mean? 11 to 1980. From Ohio. For those who don't know, I was born in 1980. What was that? It sounded like chains. It sounded like chains rustling or something. There's a lot of them chutes. Can you imagine? This being like uh, Resident Evil, you know, underneath the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. We got some. That. Might have been a What's going on there? Power line. Another Once again, one. there's some more of the. Let's see if we see shoots. any dates. 2019. 2019. McBurney. I'm glad you're here. Oh, thank you. We're glad yeah. that you let us and you haven't, you know, uh, caused any havoc and caused the cave in or anything like that. I, uh, I appreciate that and I thank you for that. This is keeping us a safe. Great keeping us safe in this mine. Skinwalker free mine. Webb's um, camera is starting to, his light is that's, starting to play yeah. up. If you look at my finger, that's so, they put out their candles. This that's where they I put the candles the, out. Uh, you see? Another YouTube channel. Yeah, there's a lot of them. So they had, they had candles back in the days. Yeah. Kerosene lamps and candles. Kerosene lamps after candles. Imagine that having to walk through here. With uh, just a candle. So this is what, yeah, I mean, pretty much what you're going to be dealing with. And then you can only see how much in front of you. Yeah, not that far in front of you. You're practically almost walking right That's into right. something right there. So you've got a couple <laughs> feet. Did you hear something? Yeah, it's like that said hi everyone. I just heard ticking. Yeah, the spirit talker said hi everyone. Oh, this part of the mine there's ventilation. Yeah, this is obviously this. So way, this is going somewhere that's open and again. And uh, this is a lot better than where we were just walking through, guys. It was really hard to breathe, but there is uh, a little bit of a breeze coming through here, which is good. Oh man. Uh, more. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna. I'll take you guys down here. Let's just see what this is. We got some shit Wow. Yeah, you can't go anywhere. You can't. That, that's cut off. Yeah. It says gold right there. There's gold in them hills, boy. Yeah. It's so quiet. Yeah. This is why they say you never mess with an urban explorer. No. You wanna know why? Because they know where to hide the body. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just joking. Morning. Morning? Yeah. That goes all the way up. There's literally a ladder right up there. Oh man, I gotta get through here. Second level, second level, there's a ladder right here. Let me get out of your way. Oh, sorry. But this is all a cave in from up here. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh wow. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Isn't it? There's a ladder up there. Yeah. Oh man. 
And there's the second level. Well, that's freaking crazy. And all this, this has been caved in, yeah? So we're going further down into the mine, deeper and deeper into the side of this mountain here. And, uh, I mean, it just keeps on going and going. It's just so extensive where it's just, you know, there's all these different paths that go left and right. You know, we could keep on this thing for like miles. And uh, the airflow stopped around here as well. It's harder to breathe. Look at that old wheel. Isn't that You crazy? gotta check this out. You got some artifacts here? Look at that. There you go. What year? That's crazy, 1908. 1908. That's some people that have found some newspaper clippings. This is just, it's crazy that it's just like literally, it's got to be the biggest mine, had to be the biggest mine back in the days. You know, this thing is just ridiculous. You could come down here and, you know, be walking around for hours and you still wouldn't see, you know, a quarter of it. But uh, you'd have to be really, really uh, fit to be able to go through some of the parts of the mine because they do get pretty, pretty tight. This area is a little bit lower, so we're gonna go a little bit further and show you what's down here. It just keeps going and going and going, so we've been walking for about two minutes since I last spoke to you, and like it's uh, as dusty as hell. It is getting a little narrower through here. The uh, ventilation, the track. and then we've got some tracks, but the ventilation's gone. And uh, the colors of the rocks are starting to change as well. Do you notice that? Yeah. We might be getting deeper here. You see the color of the rocks? That's where we come from. Quartz veins. See how it's got the... I'm not an expert on this, guys, but I know that the quartz yeah, is where the gold is. Well, the gold is where the quartz is, I should say. <laughs> oh, wow. More equipment here. Oh, Look God. How open this is. Holy moly. Mavis. Mavis. I'm not even paying any attention now to the spirit talker. I'm just taking it all in. This is ridiculous. There's some green in this. Really? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. You can see the green. So, those guys that know what's going on with different rocks and minerals and stuff like that, you probably know what's going on with the different colors. I've got no idea. Yeah, the things you do for content, right? Absolute bloody sweaty mess and uh, no air and uh, in the depths of a mine probably about two miles down and uh, this is just scraping the surface of it. So we're gonna try to carry on a little bit further down here and hopefully get some, get some better air and have a bit of a breather. The sand is getting really soft and um, it's all getting kicked up in the air as we walk. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at this. Oh what you're looking at right hey, here. that can't be good for you. No, this is probably. This is not I, good. Like snow. Guys, look. Yeah, I'm stepping in other people's shoe footprints. box. But this is really, really thick. It's like worse than the beach, but it's finer than that. It's finer than sand at the beach. And uh, oh there's a lot of dust in the air, guys. This can't be healthy for you. Yeah. Without. We're not using breathing apparatuses as well. You're gonna remember that. You know, get you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's getting to the point now where we're having to crouch down. Wow. Look at that. It's all falling in right there. The way how this dirt is. It's unsafe. Let me scoot down. Yeah, you pop your head in there because you're smaller. Uh, Got let me go stuff. in. Oh, yeah. Right here. Well, this is where it ends anyway. Wow. This is crazy. So this might have been a working station. Yeah, but look how fine this dust is. Oh, I mean, man, it is crazy. It's hard to breathe. We're breathing this in. Just when you think it's over, it's still more shit going on. <laughs> like, yeah. just walked a couple Very more minutes down the, kind of... the mine. And there's this, uh, oh wow. That's the end right oh, there. Oh wow, is that the end? It looks like the end. Look at this. That's crazy, huh? Right. What is it? Is that the end? 
Is it the end? I'll, uh, <laughs> is it the end, guys? I mean, it's just like the song that never ends. It just goes on and on and on. Let's go to the end. We might as well go to the end. That's the end, right? Oh. Holy crap. That was unique. That is the end. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This is all the cave in right here. Yeah. You would have to that is the end. get on your hands and knees and get up there. Yeah, it probably not. does open up, but nope. We're not doing that, are we? Nope. <laughs> So we've stumbled across this crazy house on the way down from the mine that we were just in. So we thought we had to stop. We seen it on Google Maps. So we said, shit, we got to do the drive up there and check it out. It is shady as hell. Literally hills have eyes again. Check this out here. Oh, this is really crazy. What the hell's going on here? <clears throat> this looks like... Uh, Beans and uh, carrot. Henry. Floor covering. Okay. And then we got some beans and carrots, right? But yeah, there's like these random chairs here. The place is fucking shady as hell. I don't think I can get through here. Yeah, there's a bed in there as well. We're gonna have to go through the other side of the house. Let me go back outside. Shady as hell. This is in the middle of nowhere. This still is kind of in Delamar. This is just up on the mountain a little bit. As well, there's the kitchen in there. Anybody in here? Did anybody pass away in here? Oh wow. The temperature just changed big time. It was like some kind of It's a kitchen here. The maybe, floor. The maybe floor is use this for water heater. I don't know, man. the water. What was that? Oh. Bug. Something over there. This is like a uh, just a random bed, spring bed, in the middle of a room. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, here at the Delamar Ghost Town. We thought we'd show you this cabin really quick. We may come back here and do an investigation. If I can find a little bit of history about this place, um, we may come back here, because maybe there were some deaths attached to this, who knows. But uh, it's been a really crazy night going into them mines. We'd like to go back there and go into those mines further, so maybe we could bring someone with us that's a little bit more professional next time and get right down deep, as far deep as we can go. It's been an awesome night, and appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for further updates. We don't know where we're going to be next, but you'll find out soon. Cheers, team. Set you free, I promise There's no time